Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're factoring sum, sums and differences of cubes. So, so that's similar to uh, factoring a difference of squares. We use a formula as a shortcut to factor it. We can do it using long division as well, but we're going to factor today using the formulas. So for our first one, A, we have 27x cubed plus 1,000. In order to be sure that this is a sum of cubes, we want to rewrite the first term as a cube with a base and the second term as a cube as well. So 27 can be rewritten as 3 cubed, and we have that x cubed as well. So this would be 3x all cubed plus... 10 cubed because that's 1,000. So we have to do this step first before we can use our formula. So the formula for a sum of squares, sorry, sum of cubes, says that if we have a cubed plus b cubed, this factors to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So we're going to use that formula here. And so this factors too. If we treat this as the a and this as the b, so the 3x is a and 10 is b, we now will sub that into this part of the formula here. And we'll get 3x plus 10 times 3 x all squared minus 3x times 10 plus 10 squared. Now let's evaluate the terms here. And we'll have 3x plus 10 first and here 9x squared minus 30x plus 100. So this is the factored form of the original sum of cubes. This here, this um, quadratic, cannot be factored any further. Now let's look at the second one. It's a little more complicated. We have x to the 9 minus 512. So we need to rewrite this as a cube, which we can do, and rewrite this as a cube, and then we have a difference of cubes. So we can use make use of the power of a power rule here and rewrite this as x cubed to the power of 3. So our base is x cubed minus 8 cubed, because 8 to the power of 3 is equal to 512. So now the formula for a difference of cubes says that if we have a cubed minus b cubed, it's going to be equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So we'll use this formula with the base x cubed for your a and 8 for your b, and we'll be able to get the factor form. So now let's sub in those values. The first one, we get x cubed minus 8 times x cubed all squared plus x cubed times 8 plus 8 squared. Now let's evaluate these terms and our final factored expression through x to the 3 minus 8 times x we have a power of a power here 3 times 2 is 6 plus 8x cubed plus 
4. Normally we would stop here, but I'm looking at this first factor and I notice something here. This is another difference of cubes. So we need to apply the formula again for this difference of cubes. Notice here that the a value would be x and the b value would be 2 for our new difference of cubes. So let's reuse the formula again for this difference of cubes and we'll actually end up with three expressions in the factor form. So when we use the formula a second time, we'll have x minus 2 times x squared plus 8x. I'm oh, sorry, this should be 2. 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4, like this, and then times the original um, expression that we had up here. We can't forget about that one. And now this is the completely factored form of our original question here, x to the 9 minus 5, 12. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.